Hi everyone, it's um, Thursday, May 28th, 2020. We're gonna do lesson three in math today. It's uh, sort by size. So our cameraman's gonna come on over. Sort by size. And if you remember, sorting means to put things in groups like based on something that's the same. So today we're gonna do it by size, how small or how big something is. So they wanted me to use these little buttons, but I didn't have them. So I'm just gonna use some of these hair ties that I found. And it says, sort the buttons or the hair ties by size and put them, put the large ones in the treasure bin. So I'm gonna separate these and take out the small ones. All right, those are sorted by big size. And then I could do this, I could put these in there. And now it's sorted by smaller size. Okay, let's turn our paper over and do C and show. Here's our two important math words, sort. That means to put it in a group. And today we're gonna sort by size, how small or how big something is. So they did this one for us. They said the beach balls were sorted by size. Trace the X's to show how the beach balls were sorted. So I'm gonna trace all these. How did they sort these beach balls? By big or small? What do you think? Yeah, you're right. They sorted them by the bigger ones and they left the smaller ones alone. All right, we're gonna move to the silly glasses. And how should we sort those today, do you think? Yeah, I heard somebody say by big ones again. So I'm gonna sort them by the big ones and put an X on all the big ones. All right, number three, we have some beach towels and we have to sort those by size. How do you think we should sort those? Ooh, somebody said smaller ones. Yeah, I'm gonna do the smaller ones. So I'm gonna put an X to show that we sorted by the smaller ones. All right, and next page is on my own and we have some juice boxes and how should we sort those do you think yeah I'm gonna sort them by small ones too and now we have some elephants how do you want to sort those elephants yeah I'm going big ones too I want to go to the beach with those elephants. <laughs> me too Why? and then we have some palm trees how do you want to sort those Ooh, somebody said small ones I'll do small ones and that's it on that page. And the last page says, look at each pair of objects, describe the sizes, and sort the objects by size. Color the large objects purple, the small objects yellow. So let's look at these dolphins. And I'm not gonna color them, I'm just gonna put a purple line or a yellow line. Okay, two dolphins, color the large objects purple. So which one's the one? Yep, the one on the left. And that's the large one, and that's the small one. Two seahorse. Which one is the large one? Right, the one on the left again. And which is the small one? Yeah, the one on the right. Okay, two, hmm, I don't know, what kind of fish are those, Mr. Killian? Angelfish. Angelfish, thanks. He's the fisherman. C color the large objects purple. Which one? Yeah, the one on the left. They're not really tricking us on this at all. And which, what do we do? Yep, yellow. Two octopi, is that how you say your octopuses? I don't know, I'm not sure. Well, which one's larger? It's a math lesson, not an English lesson. Yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> which one is large? Okay, yeah, the one on the left and the one on the right is small. Got some plants growing from the sand. Yep, the one on the left is large. The one on the right is small. And then we have these two shells. Yeah, there we go. One on the left is large, one on the right. Is small. We could do these bubbles up here, I guess. Why not? Oh yeah, these are large and these are small. And that, that's it. That was easy. Go do your IXL and then go play outside. I love you. I still miss you. Bye.